Hi, and welcome back. ProtoPy is a convenient tool not only for mobile apps, but also web prototyping. In this quick start lesson, you'll learn how to make basic hover interactions, which are essential in web design. You see, users generally look where they click. When the mouse cursor is placed above a UI element, hover effects communicate to users what they can interact with through visual feedback. In this demo, we'll show you how to use mouse over and mouse out to create a hover effect and we'll attach clickable links using touch up and touch down. Open the Pi file in Studio. Let's take a quick look at the layer structure. Here we have four sections, each grouped using a container. Containers can be used to group a number of layers and control them simultaneously. We'll need to apply hover interactions to each specific section, starting with the ProtoPy school container. Since we're dealing with a desktop interaction, we need to add mouse over and mouse out triggers to demonstrate the hovered state. As you move the mouse over the container with our UI elements, the color should change to a semi-transparent background. Quick pro tip, we don't need to apply a background layer overlay since containers in ProtoPy include a color property. With the ProtoPy school container selected, simply add a color response underneath the mouse over trigger. Go to the properties panel and change the color and set the fill to 100. Let's preview. Try to hover in. Works like a charm. Now on to hover out. With the ProtoPy school container selected, we'll need to add a mouse out trigger. Again, add a color response underneath it. This time we need to reset the color to default. Use the color picker tool and set it to the color of the ProtoPy school layer. Let's preview again. Hover in, pause, hover out. Easy. Now it's time to make this truly interactive. Let's add some more visual feedback to let the user know the link is active when clicked. How do we do this? We need to simulate what's called a pressed or clicked state. Select the ProtoPy school container, and this time add a touchdown trigger, followed by a color response. To differentiate it from the hovered state, choose a darker opacity shade and set the fill to 100. Then on the same layer, add a touch-up trigger, Using the earlier process, reset the color to default. And lastly, let's add a link response. Enter the link to your website. We're almost done. But wait a second, why didn't we choose tap for both interactions? Quick pro tip, think of the tap trigger as combining a touchdown and touch up event into one action. Responses under a tap trigger don't happen until after the touch up event has occurred. In our case, we want one of the set responses to happen when the mouse button is pressed down, and a second set of responses to happen when the mouse button is released. That's why we used separate touchdown and touch-up triggers instead of a single tap. Let's preview. We finished a complete hover with overlay and active link effect for one section. What about other sections? Multi-select all the triggers we've just created, then duplicate them with Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows. Go to the Property panel and simply change the target object from ProtoPy School to Ask ProtoPy. Now we have the same hover and click interactions applied to Ask ProtoPy as well. Before moving on, don't forget to change the URL inside the link response. Group selection using Command G or Control G and rename accordingly. Finish off with a few more clicks by applying the same steps to the remaining sections. And that's how you work with states in ProtoPy. See you in the next one.